Hey folks, Ben and Chris here, once again back for another ice fishing adventure. This time we're back on Lake Champlain, and Chris, you know how much I love fishing for bass. Largemouth bass, in fact. Yeah. Is that what we're doing today? Yeah, today we're going to target largemouth bass on ice. Uh, they're a bit, a bit tricky to catch on, on winter because they're very slow, but uh, we're going to find them and catch them. Good, good basket. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, it's real sunny right now, but they're calling for a quick weather change. Yeah, supposed to be big winds this afternoon, so, but right now we have a very nice weather, so we're gonna do all our setup Fantastic. and uh, start right away. I'll tell you what, there's not a whole lot of information online about largemouth bass. I'm super excited to see what Chris has to share with us. We're gonna show you folks at home exactly how it's done. So stay tuned. You're on subzerofishing.com, largemouth bass. Audio jump. Two bass, there's another one. Oh my God, we just drilled some holes right on this weed line and I got a big old bucket mouth staring me in the face and he's got a buddy with him too. So this is really a good zone. Yeah, as you can see today, we're gonna use medium sized shiners. The main reason for this is we're uh, in an area where there's a lot of perch, crappie, bluegill. And if we use small minnows that large mouth bass love them but we're gonna end up catching perch all day so to avoid perch we're gonna use some larger shiners not big it is bigger nice nonetheless Come back. oh yes that's what we're looking for so a lot of people think bass are super super lethargic in the winter and for the most part, that's true. But when you can get around the right area that has the right cover, they're pretty much there the entire winter and they are surrounded with food. As you can see, we're using live minnows. Even though the bass is right in front of that minnow, he'll stare at it. And it's true that he's lethargic, but he can't resist it for long. And when he takes it, he might not move and he'll just stay there and he'll chomp at that minnow, which is different from the summer where they'll attack and go. Here, they'll hit it and just stay put. So sometimes you don't even feel the bite. So with these jaw jackers, the moment they start swimming away, that's when they get caught. Largemouth bass through the ice sub-zero style. Perfect hook set, we're using a finesse wide gap. Put a one knot right on the lip. Oh yeah. You came back for it. Oh, nice one. I'm in 12 feet of water here, so it was, he was at the bottom. Nice fish. So that's a big minnow for a big small perch. For those who said you need small minnows for small perch, well, you can see here what they eat, so impressive. Oh, fish! Fuck, we're missing them all. Come here. Oh! Large mouth bass action through the ice, you gotta love it. Look at that beautiful specimen right there. So I saw we're like midday, we got fresh minnows on all the jaw jackers, nothing's firing off. So I thought, you know what? Let me put a little jig and see if uh, I could get one going. Sure enough, paid off that little jig, caught that fish. Pretty cool. Largemouth bass through the ice, not as hard as you think. Hi guys, uh, just a quick tip here. Um, when you're using a lot of tip offs, like today we had like 10 jaw jacker and when you want to check uh, the height of your minnow to see if it's at a good position, 
quickly, what I do is I take a flasher, any whatever, any brand of flasher. Today we're using the VEX flasher, the FL12. What I do, I just put the VEX quickly and here you can see my weight and in here my lure. So I just can go up or go down and I can see exactly where my lure will be. So if I want it like one feet, two feet above the ground, I'm just gonna put it down and right away, you know, I can lock it. And it's a quick way to check all your lines. It's gonna take like five seconds to check a line. So that's a quick way of doing it. They are way more aggressive than I would have thought, to be honest with you. Chris called it, he said, you find the right location, they'll be hungry. And here they are, biting nonstop. So if you're looking for a spot to try some largemouth bass fishing through the ice, what I would recommend is start where you would find them in the spring. You know, the staging area before they go into spawn, kind of that pre-spawn staging area, you're looking at water that's about five to eight feet, hard bottom, and with still some nice green weed. You can find that, good chance that there's some bass around. The other indicator are bait. So sunfish, crappie, you got those species around, you can bet largemouth bass won't be far behind. So I'm gonna explain how we set up the jaw jacker. Uh, we are, we're in 12 feet of water. So what I have, my rod has a 12 pound braided line. We have a 3.8 uh, ounce weight and a fluocarbon, maybe 14 inch of fluocarbon with a number two hook. So I'm just gonna take a minnow. Some shiners, about three inch, three to four inch shiner, and just pick it up in the back here. And I'm gonna put it down on the water, in the water. And I want the minnow to be about uh, six inch above the the bottom. So I put it. And when you have a flasher, you can easily check if it's. You see. You see my weight and you see my minnow that is about six inch above the ground. So we don't touch it, we leave it like this. And uh, that's the way uh, we're doing it. And today uh, we're all catching them on uh, jaw jackets. Immediately hit it, I just put that minnow down. Oh, bass. Yeah, there we go. Another nice bass. So I saw the bike come up, we went to the rod, there was nothing on it. I put it immediately back down and just stood by. Within five seconds, pow, hit it again. He wanted that bait. Huh? You see how thin that little line is in the winter? That's a lot thicker in the summertime. You see it really clear here. All right, let's get him back in the water. All right, so that concludes our day here, fishing for largemouth bass through the ice. I gotta tell you, Chris, it's not at all what I expected. I can't feel my body. I mean, I am absolutely burnt out, exhausted. Did you expect this kind of action today? I was expect expecting some bass, but not as much as we got today. We probably got 50 bass today. Uh, about, how many minnows did we go through? Just so well, they know. We had three dozen. I went to get back three more dozen, and we had two dozen of small minnows. So that's eight dozen minnows, just to give you an idea of how ridiculous and the action we was. We have no more minnows. Wow, well, I don't know about you, but you know, I got well, bass thumb and have, it's like, that's crazy. When you have a bass thumb- In on, the winter. On, in the winter, it means you had a, a good a good fishing day. So you can see the bass, <laughs> the, the bass thumb. So uh, no, no, that was a crazy day. I'll tell yeah. you what, I learned a lot. I hope you guys at home learned a lot. Hey, if you have any experience or would like to share with us your tricks about fishing bass through the ice, Go ahead, leave us a comment, like our Facebook page. Um, you know, this is what we do. We come out, we try to do different things. We show the folks at home uh, what, how we do it. Doesn't mean it's the best way to do yeah, it. Maybe we can learn from you. So, Chris, thanks again once well, thanks more. To you. Unbelievable, largemouth bass, through the ice, middle of winter, sub-zero fishing style. I'm Ben. I'm Chris. We'll see you on your, our next ice fishing adventure. I don't know, is this normal? Because, oh my, it's unbelievable. Well, the one, the one, action one. is still going. We can't even do a conclusion. There's just too much fish biting. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, 
follow us on Facebook. You might see some nice chicks. What I'm doing today is just fix Ben's mess. That's my job today. So, what he breaks and I'm just following him, fixing it, and then when it's ready, we just catch the fish, and uh, that's our, our plan. Come on, buddy. Oh my God. Okay. 